A new Wall Street Journal reports uncovering a disturbing trend on Instagram's reels. The app's short form video offers users clips based on what it determines the user is interested in. After creating several test accounts to follow younger influencers, the journal reports Instagram's algorithm brought up some distressing results, including what it considered salacious content. Now, Instagram's parent company Meta is pushing back on the report, telling Yahoo Finance, quote, these results are based on a manufactured experiment that does not represent what billions of people around the world see every single day when they use our products and services. Let's bring in one of the reporters behind this story, Wall Street Journal's Jeff Horowitz, joining us this morning. Um, Jeff, this is a really disturbing report that you've put out, and we should point out it's not just about the content that was recommended. It's the fact that major brands, their ads were represented right alongside some of that content. Uh, the question I had reading your story, though, is, is how quick these recommendations started to pop up. You essentially created an account and started following. Walk me through that exper experiment and what you found. Yeah, sure. So the, the general idea is that um, we started out with test accounts that just followed uh, preteen gymnasts and cheerleaders. Like we're talking kids in the age of six to 14, maybe in that range. Uh, and um, within about a day, uh, the accounts would start getting recommended content that was, um, shall we say, adult focused, as in like adult sex content focused. Um, and uh, so there was clearly a link being made by the algorithm between uh, kids, uh, little girls in this instance, and sex. Um, and then uh, when we followed users that were uh, also following other the, uh, the same young influencers, at that point, that's when things turned really dark, uh, and uh, you started getting this mix of, um, you know, kids in their underwear, uh, adult sex content, um, uh, occasionally videos of just people like dying in horrific accidents, um, and uh, just other really, really dark stuff. A lot of sex content, and a lot of I think this is important to note for for this Canadian Center for Child Protection, which was. Uh, assisted us uh, and uh, did some of their own testing as well, a lot of what was being served up were effectively videos of young girls who are known victims of child exploitation. Um, in other words, known by by like the authorities. And these kids were basically being used as promos for um, much darker stuff, presumably, that is available not on the platform. So I think the important thing to rec recognize about what the algorithm is doing here is it's sort of building an audience. Uh, and yes, as Meta says, it's certainly not in the billions, um, but uh, it may very well be in the many millions uh, that wants to consume this stuff uh, and uh, allowing people to uh, advertise it to it and at the same time, um, running major brand ads as well. And Jeff, the idea that these sort of results came up after just a day of this content, how does that speak to how the algorithm is moving and adapting to some of this harmful content, given that Meta is saying, look, we're, we're taking some of these things down as fast as we can. But considering that this just happened in a day, how do you, how do you marry the two? So the algorithm isn't really adapting to the content. The algorithm is adapting to the network, right? And one thing that uh, research has demonstrated is that niche communities have a really strong algorithmic pull. So essentially, uh, a lot of the users who were consuming this sort of stuff uh, happen to be, um, you know, they're burner accounts, right? People don't follow child sexualization content from, you know, their their personal email and, and uh, you know, Instagram account. So it's very, actually very easy for the algorithm to determine that as soon as an account kind of touches this network, that it probably wants the same thing that Instagram serving to that network, like right away. And so it's a very easy signal, unfortunately. Um, in other words, like there's a lot of reason to believe that this is gonna be a stronger recommendation set than it would be if you were into cars or football. Jeff, your, your report points to the fact that this was known among some employees within the company that has been raised as well. I mean, how did the company respond internally? What did you hear? Uh, so, you know, this was, uh, I think, a, a concern in particular um, about recommending videos of kids. Um, a safety staffer who, um, 
spoke with us, uh, you know, told us, um, actually a couple of them did, told us that um, this had been raised before uh, the product's launch uh, and that perhaps the suggestion was maybe they didn't want to recommend videos of kids because they weren't going to be able to stop this. And uh, they obviously did not follow that uh, advice. Um, and, and so this has been, I mean, I think it's a kind of a known thing that recommender systems, uh, you know, algorithms like what Reels do will, will kind of personalize content without regard to, you know, whether that content should be getting personalized, um, at which in the instance of, you know, people who want to consume videos of kids dancing in their underwear, arguably you don't want to be providing that service. In fact, not even arguably. Uh, but um, they they have been, and uh, they, uh, you know, clearly haven't been able to stop it. Uh, we, we approached them in August uh, about this, um, you know, to let them know it was happening. Uh, we approached advertisers in October. We're talking, you know, uh, uh, Disney, Walmart, uh, Pizza Hut, um, uh, you know, a whole bunch of sort of brand name blue chip entities. Uh, and um, as per the Canadian Centre, it still has not stopped. And so, Jeff, um, in terms of the response that you've gotten from some of these companies, has there been a response? Have they reached out about some of these companies seeing their ads next to this inappropriate content as a result of the algorithm? Yeah, so so Meta, I, I think most of the companies that we got in touch with about this, um, you know, just we have to ask them if we're going to be writing about them potentially, um, went to Meta. And, uh, you know, I think Meta offered to hire um, a outside auditing firm that selected by Meta um, that would be doing um, sort of a review of the placements. Um, then a couple of, of uh, brands, though, I think this is worth noting, um, Match Group and um, uh, Bumble Inc., which uh, both run um, uh, you know, successful high profile dating apps. Um, they yanked their ads from the platform. Um, they, uh, in fact, from all of Meta's platforms based on the idea that um, this stuff, uh, you know, per match, uh, it was abhorrent and was not safe for their brand, that that's not the sort of people they want to be cre uh, recruiting for um, their, uh, their sites. And I, I think, you know, there is something really jarring about seeing, um, uh, you know, Disneyland ads getting run next to a video in which an adult content creator acts out um, you know, uh, an incest fantasy, which uh, quite literally is that happened, and um, that sort of thing continues to happen. And so, I think I think the, the really just thing to really note here is that these aren't like things that slip to the cracks, right? We all know social media content moderation is hard. This is the algorithm doing what it is designed to do very well for a population that just nobody wants it to do it for.